Hello and welcome back to the DevWorm channel and today we have a request from Space the Hedgehog on how to make a dash for a platformer in Godot. So yeah, let's make a smooth dash for a platformer here in Godot. Before we get started, I just want to ask if you can subscribe to the channel as I upload one to two tutorials a week. So if you need any help in Godot, then let me know in the comments. But let's get started. All right, so to get started with the tutorial, we have the basic player script. I just want to go over the player script before we start coding because the player script is like what the dash is going to be under. But for our player script, very simple. If you want to copy it down, you can copy it down, but super, super simple. Extends kinematic body, which is the player. We have speed, motion, gravity, function, our uh, physics process. We have this bit implements the gravity. So we're always going to be going down um this allows us to go right we have an animation so we can be walking and if we're going right then we don't want to be flipped horizontally but then if we're going left we want to be going left and then we want to play the animation still but we also want to be going left so we do want to flip horizontally so we're facing the opposite way then we have motion.x equals zero and animation player dot play equals zero which is just an idle animation but so if we play it we just, we can walk, that's it. We can't dash, I'm clicking the dash button right now. Can't dash. But I'm gonna change the speed real quick just so we're a bit slower. To 60. Just so we can see a difference in the dash. All right, that should be good. So to create the dash, we're gonna wanna create a completely new scene. I'm gonna just make this scene a 2D scene and we can name it dash. Now in this scene, we're gonna want a, we're gonna want a timer. That's it. I'm just gonna name this. It doesn't really matter. We'll just name it dash timer. All right. So we want to we want to create a script on the dash. Whoops. whoops. We want to create a script. We'll just name it dash.gd. So on the parent node script. Now in the script, we're going to want to we're we're gonna want to get the timer. This is gonna be like a dash duration timer. So it's gonna Base, tell us like how long the dash is before we stop dash so we'll just name it timer and then uh, money sign and then just whoops 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 dash timer all right is that that's not right is it hold up I don't know if that would work or not. I'm just gonna put underscore here. Now we'll just put it all together. So we'll just name it dash timer with like nothing. All right, yeah, we can save dash scene. All right, but on the dash timer real quick, we wanna add one shot. So you wanna make sure it's a one shot timer just so it runs once and then we can call it again later and it will run again. Now we're gonna need some functions. I'm gonna make a function called, we'll do start, we'll, yes, just start dash and then we want the duration. So the duration number to be in here, D-U-R can be for duration. We want to set the timer. So we want timer dot wait time. This is how long it's gonna wait in between, like when you click dash and how long you're gonna be able to dash for. We want that to be equal to the dash duration and we'll implement that later. The only reason to do this is, let's say you wanna pick up a potion in game and you want it to increase the, you know, the amount of time you can dash for. Well, then that's you just change the D U R, which will change. We'll do this in the player scene and it will come over to this scene. So I'll go over that when we get to the player script. And then we just want to start the timer. So timer dot start. Now we're going to need a function and we're going to name this is dashing. And we just want to return. So we just want to return the timer like when the timer stops. Why can I not type is stopped. We just want to turn when it stops. Now we want to go to the player. I'll explain this here in a second when we get to the player, but in the player, we're going to want some variables. I'm going to make them constants dash speed and then dash speed. You want like, I don't know. This is going to be a lot. You want it like at least 12 times the normal speed. So our normal speed is 60. So we'll just go with, I don't know, we'll do like 800, I guess that'd be fine. Now we want the dash length. Now this completely depends. 
So the higher this number is, the lower you want this to be. So we'll go with we'll go with 0.1, honestly. 0.2. We'll go with 0.1. We'll change it if we have to. And then we want to access our dash scene. So on ready bar dash equals at dash. Alright. So those are all of the variables. Now we're gonna want to go down here and we're going to want to get input. So we're going to want to add an input unless you already have an input that you want to use but i'm going to go to the input map we'll just name an input dash and then for dash you can use any key i'm just going to use we'll use space yeah we can use space space will be fine for dash all right and then we want to check we'll just put this this has to be in your physics process function i reckon you know i recommend you just put it above all your input all your normal input so we'll just put it right here in between gravity and in between input so if input dot is action pressed or yeah we can do just pressed dash so if we click the dash button then we want dash to start what this dash right here we're accessing the the other so we're accessing this scene so dash dot start dash because that is what we called our thing and we want it to be dash length so if you can see what's going on here we have dash so we're accessing the other scene we're going to start the dash which is a function here and we're going to input the duration which we want to be dash length so if you want it to last longer this is the number you change but so when we go over here the duration here it's the same as just doing like 0.1 but we're just gonna put duration just so it's more modular and you can change it later on but that's how that works and then we want to change the speed of right here so we want normal speed so I'm gonna go up to our normal speed variable I'm just gonna name it normal speed because I'm gonna use speed here uh, I'm gonna make another variable and this variable is gonna be speed so just like the overall speed we want the overall speed to be equal to dash speed and then if dash dot i think we named it is dashing i think that's what we named it and then else and then we want normal speed did we name it is dashing yeah all right so that should be good so we have our variables and then we go down so if we click the dash button we're gonna want dash and then we're gonna start the dash for this duration which it's 0.1 so we'll start the dash we'll go over here it's gonna start the timer now then right here it's gonna return right here so if is dashing so the speed's gonna okay let me see so the speed here is going to equal the dash speed if dash is dashing. So if dash is not dashing, then it's going to be equal to the normal speed, if that makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense, but we'll give it a play. We'll see what happens. Hold up. All right, so let's see what happened here. Okay, so this is my error. I looked at it for like five seconds and I realized what happened yeah okay so what, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to take our dash or we, we're gonna want to go to our player scene and we just want to instance the dash so we'll just instance the dash no parent child oh we forgot to select player dash there all right so now we have dash in our player now our player will be able to dash so now if we click play and you can see the dash that kind of works or i mean kind of works it, it does work because if we go, I'm holding it down right now. Whoa, that was weird. But I click it, I hold it down, it, that's all. I'm still holding it down. It does a double jumps every once in a while. But you can see that you click it and it will last until the 1.1 1. 1 seconds, just like a dash should dash. Now, you can have a cooldown to where you can only dash like every three seconds because you have like a stamina bar that has to fill up. but let's say we move this down to like a 400 
or we'll move it down to like a I don't know a 200 speed and then we'll go point three point four point three now you can see the complete difference in this type of dash as it's like a, a sped up like this is also a type of dash that a lot of people like in the game where it's not like so quick but it's also like super smooth just like a clean little dash every once in a while you can add this little dash in here looks pretty cool art you can go you know extremely extremely fast like the 800 which is pretty quick so like th that's extremely quick I'm gonna I'd say we go with like a 500 maybe maybe 500 yeah that looks that looks a lot better all right so but that is how you make simple dashing here in Godot. But yeah, so thank you so much Space the Hedgehog for commenting down below and asking for a tutorial. I just want to thank everybody for watching today's video. And if you need any type of tutorial on Godot, then let me know in the comments down below. And I would love to help you out. But be safe and have an amazing time working on your games.